was first impressions of Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace, the Tiny Marvels uh, palette. And if you want to hear my thoughts on someone with hooded eyes and uh, olive skin, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. And I did my eyebrows and I put some primer in my eyes and that's all I have. I haven't done my makeup yet because that's what I usually do last. I do, first I do my um, eyes and then I do the rest of my face. So here it is. This is the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace um, eyeshadows. Here's the package. It's beautiful. I love the colors. It's really, really colorful. Got the greens and just one of my favorite colors which is green and pink are two of my favorite colors. So uh, let me open it. It has a mirror. It has a little uh, uh, sheet, a plastic sheet that you put on top of it. And here are the colors. Okay, guys. So uh, the matte ones that I see are uh, Tree Topper, which is like a beige uh, walking stick, and it's like a green. It's like a like a like a, a green, like an olive green, very uh, dark olive green. Uh, and then you have Flottery, which is like, uh, I don't know, to me it's like more like a peachy, pinky type of color. Pinky, peachy type of color. Uh, another, the matte ones are Mantis, which is a green, is a beautiful green. Uh, and then you have Lily Love Bug, which is like a purple one. That one right there. And then you have another purple, which is Dual, uh, dual B, and that's like a true purple. Uh, and then you have uh, Death moth and that's like a, a, a like a light brown then you have like a burgundy and this boogaboo is a um, burgundy one and then you have like a dark dark uh, brown which is spider it's the first row and then I'm gonna do this one oh my god this is beautiful second row oh they're beautiful Third row. So for this, I'm gonna use some of my good brushes. These are my Japanese brushes. So I'm gonna use some of the refers, some of the um, the um, wing gloss. So here I go. I don't know which color. I have a green shirt right now, so I'm trying to see what I want to do. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this one here first. Tree Hopper, and they are like butter. Oh my god, Sydney Grace has like the best eyeshadows, and the price is like so good. And this is the Wayne Gloss number 18. I'm gonna use the back just to diffuse the color. I'm gonna use the Refer number 13, maybe this one right here. I don't know what I'm doing yet, I'm just kind of picking colors. And it's so freaking pigmented, it's so buttery. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just, and a good thing about it is it 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 um it doesn't mud the color with the other one. It just stays there, which is a good thing. I have hooded eyes, so my makeup is very um the uh, the brushes that I've used I ha they have to be very small because as you can tell, I don't have a lot of lid. Diffuse the color with the first brush. I'm gonna use the refer number two. I just I love this one. Maybe I'll put it in here. I have to open my eye to create almost like a lid. Go on the other side. You see the color stays where I put it. It's beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna cover the whole eye with the green. Change my mind. I'm gonna do the mantis. My whole eye is gonna be mantis. And I'm gonna use Flutter Bee on the outside here. I'm gonna do walking stick on the outer part. MAC 239S. And when I use the back of it, it's kind of diffuse the color. Get a tiny one, and this is a Wayne Goss number 20. Put a little bit of Mantis. Refer number P21. And a color that I do want to use is Metal Hawk. 
I think I'm gonna wet it. No, let me put it with my finger. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna use this uh, Scott Barnes number 59 and I'm gonna intensify the outer part of my, my eye. This one here, which is Death, Death Moth. So I'm using this in order to kind of create a lid. Then I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss number 19 and I'm gonna diffuse the color. ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is Walking Stick. I need something darker on the outside, so I guess I'm gonna go with the spider because I just need something to define my outer part. So, oh yeah. Then I get another brush and I'm gonna diffuse that color. I'm kind of using every color. I wanna put a little bit of that. I'm gonna put it on the outer part right here of uh, the MAC 242S. That's another one. I think I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna do wet with a Sigma uh, wing liner. I'm gonna do my brow bone. I'm gonna get this little brush that I was using to diffuse the color. I'm gonna put some of this fire, fire butts on my inner part, my inner duct. I'm gonna clean that one, this one a little bit, and I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm gonna clean up a little bit the edge. Okay, and I had a little bit of fallout that up so this is what I have let me do the other eye then I'm gonna put my makeup and I will be right back okay guys so this is what I have so far and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my lips and since I'm doing the Mel Thompson I'm gonna use the uh, her uh, lipstick which is uh, puffin which is this uh, orange one and I'm gonna use smooches as the lip liner so I'm just following the same since I'm using, you know, the eyeshadows, I'm gonna use a, a lip and a, a lip liner and the lipstick too. This is such a beautiful color. If you have um, olive skin like I do, it's beautiful. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. This is what my eyeshadow looks like. And again, I use the same, the lipstick that's by Mel Thompson, so I can kind of go with the eyes. And this is again, it smooches and puffin. So um, it's like an orange. So this is kind of what it looks like on someone with uh, tan skin. So let me get from a little closer so you can see it. And here it is, guys, from close. They're beautiful. Let me get from closer. They're beautiful. The colors are so beautiful. Like this is beautiful, beautiful. And this is for someone, like I said, I'm, I have a hooded eyes and have tan skin. So this is kind of what it looks like with hooded eyes and tan skin or olive skin. So I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on the eyeshadows. So the eyeshadows, guys, they're beautiful. I mean, like, I need to buy more of the Sydney uh, Grays because they are, like, stunning. I mean, I, I had a little bit of a fallout. I think it was this one here, uh, these two. But I think if you do it, do it with a wet brush, and it'll just stick like butter. Um, and I did it with my finger, but I think if you do uh, with a brush and then uh, wet the brush and you do it, I think it's... It's, it's just like butter. Like I said, I try to use all of them in there. I didn't know what I was doing, 
but this is like so so beautiful like literally so beautiful and when on hooded eyes it's just amazing the outside it's like a work of art so this is like I love it I, the greens like what caught my eye and the pink these two together are to my two favorite colors and like that just a different uh, darker green and just like I said all the different colors are, are beautiful uh, so the outside package I like it because it's easy to travel uh, but again there's a lot of eyeshadows that when you have hooded eyes um, you have to work with them and I like eyeshadows that I can put on and it doesn't have a lot of fallout like I said a lot of people put um, their foundation and everything else and I do the way around I put my my eyeshadows and then I do my face because of that reason but uh, like I said the fallout was minimal um, but again I I'm in love with it anyway guys thank you for watching my videos